Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be talking to you today all about fragrances, smell goods, whatever you want to call them. This is going to be my fragrance collection, so if you want to find out what's all in my collection, stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So I just want to start by saying that I've always loved fragrances. A, it reminds me of my grandmother actually. Her signature scent was Estee by Estee Lauder and to this day, I don't even know if they still make it, but I can still smell what that smells like in my head. So it's just a really like girly thing for me and I, I mean, who doesn't like to smell good? So I will get started with the like casual daytime work appropriate scents and then we'll move in kind of to the more sensual, sexier scents. So first things first. This Jo Malone Basil in Neroli scent. So the funny thing about this scent is that I found out about it because I had gotten a sample um, when I purchased something else like two, maybe three years ago to be completely honest. And I didn't think I was gonna like it. I put it in my bag. I had to go to Los Angeles for a week or so and that was gonna be the scent that I wore that week. And I sprayed it and my Lyft driver was like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. It smells like spring meshing into summer. It does smell green, kind of citrusy, but not overly green. It doesn't smell like you just mowed the yard or something like this. It's a nice, crisp, but kind of sweet, fresh, citrusy green. It's, it's something that's like no other. And I don't think I've smelled a combination like basil and neroli together so that's probably why it's like no other this is my favorite jo malone scent i know people like peony and blush suede i know people like wood sage and sea salt i'm a fan of wood sage and sea salt too this i feel is more interesting um, i don't like other long come fragrances so they they smell older more mature but for whatever reason this smells like someone, a woman that's going into work, she knows what she's doing, but she's also confident and sweet. It does have a rose scent to it, but when I say rose, I don't want you to be thrown off because a lot of times rose scents have smelled more mature. This doesn't smell like this. This smells really nice. This smells like I'm in my late 20s, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 40s. I'm not a senior citizen, but I like to smell like roses and I'm respectable. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. It's not sexy to it. Um, I don't like that this bottle has to lay like this. You can buy a sand for it. I'm not buying a sand for a perfume, but I have my sister actually got for me for my birthday. This one. This is Miss Dior Roses and Roses. So I found out about this and first of all, look at this bottle. Isn't this the cutest little thing? It's pink, it has a bow, the little things on the side. Oh, it's just, it's adorable. I love it so much. But um, this scent, my friend Jasmine <laughs> wore this to my birthday dinner and I was like, what are you wearing? It smells so good. And she was like, this new Dior fragrance, roses and roses. And first of all, that was already two turnoffs for me. And I would say that this definitely lives up to this. It is a modern rose. This is like, I'm living the time of my life. I'm out with my friends. Maybe I don't have any real responsibilities yet, or maybe I'm just letting my hair down today. Whatever the case is, I'm having a good time. But I'm also growing up a little bit. <laughs> it's, it, it's a modern rose, so it still has that classy element to it, but it is not as mature. If you like rose scented things, but you've been scared in the past, get this. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like I sound like a Texan. Pile of fam. But um, this bottle, royalty. The reason why I got this was because this was a blind buy. Actually, most of these are gonna be blind buys because I bought 90% of these fragrances during quarantine. I kid you not, I've always loved fragrances, but I've tried to limit myself to two or three at a, two or three at a time. But during quarantine, 
I mean, it really just, it lifts your spirits to smell good. If you have been walking around your house working from home and not been burning candles or putting perfume on, try it. I promise you it's a mood booster. But this has a note of beeswax in it and that was the selling point for me because I, I don't ever remember smelling a perfume with that note in it. This smells like a confident woman. Maybe she has a presentation to the board. She knows what she's talking about. She's about to walk into her boss's office and ask for a raise. I think I'm gonna disappoint some of you. This is Versace Dylan. The bottle is gorgeous. I was not impressed with the scent first, at first, because to me it just kind of smelled like a nice clean shampoo. Nothing wrong with that. I'm still getting clean shampoo vibes, but I get so many compliments when I wear this. It's almost kind of ridiculous. If I go to the grocery store and I'm wearing this, the cashier will ask me what I'm wearing. A friend has asked me what I'm wearing. And the funny thing is, is I can't really smell this on myself, but other people can smell it on me. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this just for that reason. Like I can't really smell it on myself. So it's, it's kind of, you know, I don't know, but I do like to mix this actually sometimes with Prada La Femme or the Idole by Lancome and I find that this is kind of a good layering scent. So if you have this and you haven't used it, I would say try that. Not a safe blind buy because it smells like sweet sunscreen. It smells like I'm at the beach or the pool with my friends. I want to smell nice, I want to smell pleasant, but I don't want to try too hard because we're supposed to be relaxing. So what perfume should I wear? You should wear Beach by Bobbi Brown. And the reason why I say it's not a safe blind buy is because if you would get annoyed with something smelling like sunscreen, you're not going to like it. But it doesn't smell straight like sunscreen. There's something else in here. I don't know if it's like coconut or something. There's something else in here that makes it not straight like sunscreen and it's it's really almost addicting to me to smell. But again, if you don't like the way sunscreen smells, you're not gonna like this. A replica Beach Walk. Um, this is nice. This smells a little like sunscreen, but I wouldn't say it smells like sunscreen. This is more sweet, more coconutty, more hmm, crowd pleaser. I've worn this a lot. I've had this for maybe a year and a half or so. I wear this year round. I know that it says beach walk, but I like wearing this as an everyday scent in the fall. <laughs> it's just a really pleasant scent. It's, they don't have a lot of staying power, so I'm having to spray this like 10 times. <coughs> it got in my mouth. The spray got in my mouth. Send help. Ah! I knew that was going to happen. But um, I'm having to spray this 10 times in the morning and I do faintly smell it at the end of the day. But if that would annoy you, pass on replica scents. And speaking of replica, I have a lot of tiny replica scents that I'm going to go through very quickly. I will say if you're thinking about this set, just be cautious that these little lids do not stay on very well. Sailing day and lazy Sunday morning. Personally, my favorite is lazy Sunday morning. Both are very clean scents, and if I'm not mistaken, both are, both are replicated as unisex scents. Sailing day is more clean, more like, more unisex, more lazy Sunday morning is still very unisex. It's just, there's something a little bit more interesting about Lazy Sunday Morning. Two that I have from Replica are Jazz Club and By the Fireplace. I think these are both marketed for men. Um, I mean, do you boo boo. If you wanna wear these and you're a woman, go ahead. But I'm just saying that, you know, on the bottle it says style description. They always say female or male. So I believe these are both marketed for men. Um, I've spoiled both of these. I'm a fan of By the Fireplace and not Jazz Club, but I think I have a friend that likes Jazz Club, so I think it just depends on your personal preference. It's guys, like two weeks ago, and I've been in love, and I sprayed it earlier. I'm gonna spray it on myself again. It is, got it in my, my mouth. I'm gonna die of chemical perfume. 
this is the this is the last video, guys. <laughs> um, this is Mon Guerlain um, by Guerlain. This is a beautiful scent. The thing I love about this scent is that she's classy, she's moody, she's sassy, she's a savage. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She can do it all, okay? And what I mean by do it all is she can go to work and she can be very like I'm at work and then this would be good for going out with friends and this would also be good for like date night with Bae. Next one I want to talk about another unpopular opinion. I don't like it as much as I want to like it and as much as other people seem to like it. This is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. So the, the problem with this for me is that there is something Oh, yeah, there's something in this. There's a specific note and I don't know what it is. It's like sharper than the rest of the notes because it's a very light, musky kind of fragrance to me. But there's something in here that I don't know what it is that is very, it's like one of these things is not like the other and it doesn't compliment to me. I've been using it as a room spray and I hate to say it, but it's very nice as a room spray. <laughs> I like it as a room spray. Hey, good girl gone bad. This is what it smells like. How it smells doesn't match up to it. You, you see what I'm saying? Like it's not as sensual or sexy as I thought or deep, I guess, or dark. I have Centaur 33 and I also have another 13. I believe that the number correlates to the number of notes in each fragrance. So another 13 would have 13 notes in it and then Centaur 33 would have 33 different notes in it. Another 13 is very work appropriate, very crisp, very clean, not offensive to anyone. I can't see anyone getting offen offended like when they smell this on you. Also quite unisex. Yeah, definitely quite, I could see a man wearing this too. So that's another 13 and I've used quite a bit of it. I, I really like another 13. The next scent is Centaur 33. Let me tell you, this is not for everyone. I get compliments on Centaur 33 from other people who know the house of Lalabo or by other people who have Centaur 33. I don't recall ever wearing this and getting compliments on from this from people who don't know Centaur 33. Not a safe, not a safe blind buy. I would say it is definitely unisex. It's almost a little harsh to me, in my opinion. Um, but I will say both of these have great staying power and every Lalabo scent I've ever tried has had magnificent staying power. Towards Noir and I was watching someone on YouTube's video about this. I don't remember who it is. I really wish that I remembered. They said that um, they are not generally a fan of Tom Ford fragrances. I don't like any of the Tom Ford fragrances and I've tried. I've tried to like them but I don't like them. But she liked this one and she said that the staying power was magnificent and that it was just a very like sensual sexy scent. I have to agree. It is very sexy. The staying power is magnificent. I personally would probably only wear this in the fall and the winter just because it's a little dark. But if you want to wear it in July, do you boo boo. A Swiss Arabian Oud. I don't even know if I'm saying any of that right. but. Kiko definitely put me on to this one and I hope I'm saying her name right. This is like $35 from Amazon and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It smells, whoo, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells, it's like a um, dark gourmand type scent. Can't quite place it. It just smells good, guys. And if you don't, traditionally like oud fragrances, I would say this would be a good starting point or this would be something to try anyway and for $35 for a cologne, I might as well try it. Kiss Exclusive by uh, Be Layered and this is a dupe or it is inspired by First Kiss Exclusive by Delina Perfumes and I will say that Delina one is like $300. Homegirl wasn't going out like that. I'm just not there to the point where I want to spend that much on a fragrance. One day, quite possibly. Today, not at all. This smells very good. It's sexy, but it's more sweet. 
And from what I can tell, it smells pretty on par with the Delana fragrance. I would say that out of all my fragrances, if I had to pick one, ooh, and this is gonna be hard. If I had to pick one for like, you know, business, work, and I had to pick one for like nighttime, what would I pick? A for nighttime, I'm gonna go with my Mon Guerlain because it's sweet and it's sensual and it's a little bit, a little bit dark. For daytime, I feel like I reach for this a lot. Um, so I would have to go with Idol by Lancome, but don't hold me to it because next week I could be thinking something totally different. So let me know your thoughts about any of the perfumes that I mentioned in this video. If you have a fragrance you think I should try out, let me know, put me on. I'm excited to see what you guys are wearing, what you guys are buying, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you later. Bye.